Women at Freedom is Mine. So let's take a look at some amazing women who led slave resistance movements. Queen Nanny is a Jamaican national hero, best known for leading a community of former enslaved Africans called the Windward Maroons. Born around 1685, not much is known about Queen Nanny's origins other than she hailed from West Africa and was most probably brought to Jamaica as a slave. She escaped and eventually became the leader of the Windward Maroons, a self-governing, self-sustaining community of formerly enslaved Africans. Nanny was a skilled tactician and consistently thwarted the attempts of the British forces to capture the settlement despite being outgunned. Over a period of 30 years, Nanny was said to have facilitated the escape of over a thousand enslaved Africans. In 1976, she was declared a Jamaican national hero and she appears on the Jamaican $500 bill. Carlota Lukumi was an enslaved woman of Yoruba origin, famous for being one of the leaders of the slave insurrection at the Triumvirato Plantation in Matanzas, Cuba in 1843. It was one of several slave uprisings in Cuba that year, for which numerous enslaved and free Africans were executed, imprisoned or exiled. Little is known about Carlota's life other than her participation in the uprising. She died in battle in 1844 and is seen as a martyr who died fighting for the freedom of her people. There is a sculpture of her at the Triumvirato Plantation which is part of the UNESCO Slave Root Project. Harriet Tubman was a formerly enslaved African-American woman who escaped from slavery and went on to become a leading abolitionist, suffragist and leader of the Underground Railroad. She also served as a spy, guerrilla soldier and a nurse for the Union Army during the Civil War. Harriet was born in 1822 in Maryland. In 1849 she escaped up north via the Underground Railroad, a network of secret routes, safe houses and allies that facilitated enslaved Africans escaping to freedom particularly in the northern states and in Canada. Over the years, Harriet made several trips, assisting dozens of enslaved people to escape, leading to a $40,000 reward for her capture or death. Fortunately, she was never caught and never lost a passenger. She died in 1913 and was buried with military honours in New York. Mary Thomas, also known as Queen Mary, was one of the leaders of the 1878 Fireburn Uprising on the island of St. Croix, which at the time was a Danish colonial territory. Although slavery was abolished in the Danish West Indies in 1868, the formerly enslaved people continued to labour for low wages under terrible conditions. This sparked the Fireburn Riots, which were the largest recorded labour riots in Danish history. The name Fireburn was coined because over 50 plantations were burned down, along with two other resistance leaders, Queen Agnes and Queen Matilda. Queen Mary was instrumental in leading the revolt. She was subsequently arrested and given a life sentence. In 2018, the artists Jeanette Ellis and Lavorne Bell erected a public sculpture in her honour called I Am Queen Mary. It's located in Copenhagen and is the first monument dedicated to a black woman in Denmark. That's it for this video. To hear about some inspirational men who've led slave resistance movements, check out my video on it right after this. I'll see you next time. Freedom is